Uh, no, we have a talk by uh, Rasmus Bergelberg about uh, 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 guarded recursive power domains for applicative simulations. All right, yeah, and this is John work with uh, Andrea Bezzosi. Um So, um, as probably many of you know, if you've seen my talks, the last few years I've been working on guarded type theory, and we've been developing various guarded type theories, also combining uh, guarded type theory with uh, cubicle type theory. And one of the motivations for this, one of the things that we imagine that this, uh, uh, or intend that this uh, theory could be used for, is for reasoning about uh, programming languages that combine recursion with computational effects. And so the work that I'll be talking about today is, uh, is an, a work example of this. And uh, the object language that we considered was the untyped lambda calculus with uh, non-determinism, so finite non-determinism. And so that, that's the language that I have up here that, you know, untyped lambda calculus has recursion, and now it also has non-determinism. I use, just to say, I use the double lambda just to distinguish that from the meta-level la lambda in a minute. Um, and what I've given here is a May convergence predicate, and uh, the May convergence here, you can see from the, from the two button rules here, for M or N to converge to something, it's enough that either M converges to it or N converges to it, and the other one can diverge still. Right, so I'll also consider uh, mass convergence, but, but later on. So this is where we start. Okay, and so um, the question is, how do we reason about these kind of languages in type theory? And um, so, as I said, this language has recursion, and it has um, non-determinism, and we know how to reason about each of these sort of individually. So, for instance, non-determinism we can model using the uh, finite power set, and that can be expressed as a high inductive type, and I'll recall that in just a minute. Um, and on the other hand, you can model uh, divergence using, uh, for instance, the co-inductive partiality monad, uh, which is the monad I have up here, which says that a computation is either value A now or computation LA later. Okay? But the question is, how do we combine these to reason about a language? And I'll, I'll show you two different uh, constructions that I call guard recursive power domains for reasoning about this combination, one for may and one for must. And so here's the overview of this brief talk. I'll start by recalling guarded recursion, basic, very basics of it, and the finite power set as a high inductive type. Um, and then, and then I'll, I'll show you these two uh, guarded uh, power domains, uh, the one for May convergence first, and then the one for must convergence. And for each of these, I'll show an application of, this, of these uh, to reason about uh, May similarity and must similarity. So we'll prove that applicative May and must similarity are congruences, and we do this in type theory. Uh, th these are classical results, but now, they, but this way, they can be done in type theory. And just a disclaimer before I start this here: everything we've done here, we've done well. We've worked in our clock cubicle type theory, which is a type theory that well that we developed. Um, and everything I've done, everything I'll present here, we've done the proofs on paper. Uh, but since we did these proofs, and this was published at MFPS last year. Uh, Andrea has actually implemented uh, this clock cubicle type theory in guarded cubicle actor to an extent that I believe that it's quite easy actually to implement this in actor and just for time reasons I haven't done it yet. So I believe we can do this now. All right, okay, guarded recursion. So guarded recursion is the extension of uh, type theory uh, with a modal operator called later and uh, I work with bunch of clock guarded recursion so this Later, the triangle up here is indexed by a clock kappa. Um, and, uh, and then there's a fixed point operator which has this type here. So I should say that I'm working in what's called clock cubicle type theory. And precisely what that is, that's described uh, in our uh, Lix paper this year. Right, so you have um, a fixed point combinator like this that uh, gives you fixed points of terms, but they're also guarded recursive types. And here's a very simple one which is a guarded uh, recursive version of the partiality monad, um, which differs from the partiality monad by the, by the later modality here. So um, if a comput computation continues, then uh, it will need one more time step to unfold, and that's precisely what's captured in this modal operator later. So we can pass from this guarded recursive type to the co-inductive one by quantifying over clocks. That's why we have multiple clocks. Um, so we can define the, um, or encode the co-inductive partiality monad using the guarded recursive one. Um, 
and, and that's quite useful. So we could go back and forth. But the, the guard recursive one has the benefit that we can use the, the fixed point operator here for programming, which is very powerful. Uh, and so both of these now, both of these are constructions here are now monads on on sets, uh, by which I mean eight sets. Um, right, and and so the other construction here was the finite power set, uh, which can be uh, modeled as an as a high inductive type this way here. So there's a construction for singletons. There's a union operation, and then there's constructions stating that union is associative, commutative, idempotent. And that the finite power set is indeed a set. And so this is uh, the just the free similarity structure on A, and just by this free uh, um, uh, freeness property here, you can prove that, again, this is also a monad on, on the category of eight sets in type theory. OK, and so we've seen these basic building blocks for modeling recursion and for modeling uh, power, for modeling uh, non-determinism. So how do we combine them? And so I, uh, as I said, I'll give two different answers to that. One is for uh, May convergence. And, um, and so this is the May power domain. That's defined as a Garda recursive type. So you see that, I guess I can point like this here. So there's a recursive uh, call here to the um, uh, recursive occurrence of the type that we're defining inside the, uh, on the right-hand side. And so that makes this a, a Garda recursive type. But these, uh, we can define these in our type theory. Okay, because, exactly because it's underneath a late, so it's a Gardner recursive type. So um, how do you think of this uh, power domain? Well, uh, the elements are computations. Uh, well, that, that's, so it's a, uh, it's, it's a monad, so the elements are, are computations. And so the elements in here are, well, they're finite power sets, and the elements in the finite power set are the values um, that we've returned, so A now, or they're computations that, well, uh, there are computations that can run for one more step, so if you're on this side here. Um, and so um, this one clearly includes the, um, it clearly includes A as a singleton, like this. It also, there's also, what well, I call it the layer algebra structure, so a map from later of this type into itself, um, which is also just included as a singleton. And then finally, there's a union operation uh, just from the uh, finite power set on, on the outside here. And actually, the structure here is the free delay algebra and similar to structure um, with no equations between them. So you can prove a universal property for this. And using this, um, well, you can prove that, again, this is a monad on, on eight sets. Okay? But I think of this as sort of as the uh, May equivalence because we're sort of observing uh, values that have been returned as we go along, even though the computation may still, or some branches of the computation may still be, be running. Um, right, and so uh, as, as, a, as an example use of this monad, uh, we showed that applicative similarity, applicative May similarity in this case, is a congruence. So um, I have a little time. So um, just to recall, an applicative May simulation is a relation between terms, M and N, such that whenever M can, can converge or may converge, then also N may converge. And whenever you apply these things to, uh, to the same value, you also get related things out. And so you can define uh, um, May uh, simulation or May similarity as the greatest fixed point of this. And this, again, is a co-inductive type that we can encode using Garda recursion. And so there's a, there's a classical theorem that states that uh, this is a congruence. That's the theorem at the bottom of the slide here. So if you have two terms that are related, you put them in the same context then they're still related, okay? And the proof is non-trivial. Um, it usually uses, or most people prove this using syntactic methods, um, so, such as house method, but we use semantic methods um, following uh, Pitts, who did this in domain theory for the uh, pure uh, untyped lambda calculus. So we solve a domain equation, that's the SVAL here, and we use that to uh, construct the semantics for terms, so capital lambda here are closed terms, and then we did a relation between terms and, and types and showed that this corresponded to May similarity. Okay, so I'm almost out of time, uh, but let me just show you the, the must convergence side. So, uh, so here, for M or N to must converge, it must be the case that M and N converge. And so for this one, we considered uh, this construction here, 
that uh, essentially says that uh, um, a computation here is a computation that runs for some time, maybe forever, but if it returns, then it returns a, a, a finite set of values. Okay, so we're not observing partial things on the way. And just to make the story short here, um, um, one interesting thing about this is that this is not a monad. It has a bind operation, but the bind operation, operation is not associative, and that's, a, that, that's an, a curious thing here. But still, we could do the proof for, uh, for a multiplicative similarity being a congruence, also in type theory, uh, using similar techniques to the previous one. So this monad here, well, which is not a monad, uh, um, it does satisfy um, well, associativity of bind up to weak by similarity, and so we're working on, 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 on fixing this and having a theory of, um, of well, of, of general combi uh, combinations of guard recursion and computational effects. Um, as well. So that I mentioned the future work. Yeah. Thank you. This weak by similarity imply equality in cubical type theory or in set of some um, so strong so strong by similarity coincides with um, with equality um, and, and that is well we proved this also here but that is indeed a, a property of cubical type theory just of the interval yes um, you need to be very careful when you formulate notion of weak by similarity because if you're not then it collapses so you need to talk about global terms so you need to take this universal quantification of clocks into play yeah. as well. Uh, I was wondering if it's possible to uh, also define logical relations for this language and show that the, uh, it coincides with applicative uh, by simulation. So, so which, which relation coincides with uh, lo logical relations? If you can define logical relations internally with uh, guarded recursive types, and then show that uh, it coincides with. Uh... That's very likely, yes. Okay. Uh, this actually relates to something we're trying to do, yes. <laughs> yeah. More questions on this side of the room. Uh, well, I have one actually. Um, do you have an idea of how this, uh, these things compute in practice? Like if you try to run or evaluate the, uh, the, the, this path for the monads, uh, what, what do the normal forms look like? Um, well, it, it should compute. Um, so this paper that I referred to that I um, uh, just want to um, make a small commercial for again, uh, which appears at Lakes. Right? So, we haven't, so we haven't proved uh, canonicity or anything like that for that. but. But all the constructions that, are, that, are, that we do for combining guarded recursion and cubical type theory, we've thought about how, how these should compute, and we do believe that it will, but we haven't proved it. And it's been implemented, so you can try out for your particular, right. Thanks. Very quick question. Uh, could you just say again, what's, what's like intuitively the difference between may and, and must uh, conversions? Uh, may I must convergence? Yeah. Well, it's um, right. So it's, it's this rule here, which I went over quite quickly. Here, you know, so up here for the for the for the must. So um, for m or n to converge, it must be the case that both m and n converge, right? So you only so you're sort of running all branches, and then only when when all branches have terminated, will you compare things. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, let's thank the speaker again. <laughs>